With the hustle and bustle of everyday life, getting distracted is not difficult, which can be especially dangerous while driving. Christina Johns learned just how dangerous it can be. On August 27th, Johns pulled into the parking lot of her daughter's middle school to take her a saxophone. I looked down at my phone, and the split second I looked back up, I realized everything was kind of happening. In the split second Johns was distracted, her car slammed into a guardrail which came through the front of her vehicle, piercing her in the upper thigh and continuing through to the back seat. And that's when I realized that um, my leg was impaled. Johns was rushed to a local area hospital where she underwent emergency surgery. Though she is in a lot of pain, it could have been a lot worse. The doctor said if it had gone in any other angle, it would have been way worse. According to a report from the U.S. Department of Transportation, at any given moment, 5% of drivers are guilty of using their handheld devices while on the road. We caught up with Chief Michael Phibbs to talk about the seriousness of the issue. As we look at distracted driving, probably texting and driving will overtake uh, drunken driving for highway deaths in the next year or two. If you are easily distracted, Phibbs offers advice to help. The things people can do if they're really serious about it is put blocks in place for them that limits them access to those devices. Put your cell phone device in the back seat of your car uh, where you can't get to it. And then you'll know that after you get out of the car, you can check on that. Try not to do things in the car that will distract you from the driving. Because <laughs> you never know. Johns is expected to make a full recovery. She hopes to tell her story to others and hopes that they don't make the same mistake she made. For the Met Report, I'm Douglas Coulter.